Right, so the purpose of the experiment was so that we could embark a number of different MCM capabilities. We could go to sea with an ally. We could test our ability to embark and safely operate them, as well as command and control all of those different assets in order to accomplish a mission. Well, all the unmanned platforms that we had included an aircraft that was equipped with some advanced airborne mine countermeasures capabilities. We also had the LCS RON uh, come aboard with some of their developing capabilities from both Textron and from NRL that were providing us surface and subsurface unmanned capability. And then we brought our XMCM company aboard, which had an unmanned systems platoon, and that had the EOD platoon as well in order to be able to detect and to engage mine countermeasures threats. The three big questions that we sought to answer were, could we safely onload? What did that look like? Two, could we command and control everything that was embarked? And three, could we set up an advanced communication suite in order to integrate both the data and the voice communications to command and control all those assets? I think in this case, we said that yes, we could embark and here's what it looks like. Two, yes, we could command and control those assets. And three, we were able to maintain communications with all of them while they operated. And what that allows us to do is to re-embark similar platforms in the future and start looking at the specifics of how each one of those platforms performed and how we integrate that information across the full detect to engage sequence.